Don't you find it amusing that schools teach us complex algebra before they show us how to save the life of a choking relative? They teach us about intricate intracellular mechanisms before they teach us how to properly perform CPR. And we learn historical details that we immediately forget instead of learning about early warning signs of life-threatening diseases that might save our lives someday. The way I see it, we are like biological robots that haven't read the manual and have no idea how their systems work. When an indicator starts blinking, they need to visit a mechanic. They have no idea if it's urgent or not. They have no idea how to prevent failure of the system. Sometimes they don't even notice the indicator blinking. I think this situation would be funny if it wasn't the cause of so much suffering around the world that, in my opinion, could be prevented. Let us pause for a minute and try to imagine what medicine could look like if we start prioritising and using the latest technologies that are available even today. I think that it is common sense that saving lives has priority over complex algebra equations, so we need to find a way to teach our kids the most important life-saving procedures. And by that, I don't mean integrating a small course about first aid somewhere between the countless hours of math and literature, but actually taking some time to teach them properly and make sure that they are able to retain that knowledge. The fact that we let our kids recite the periodic table and they have no idea how to perform chest compression when someone is dying still baffles me. But I guess it is not the only thing that needs improvement in our education system. Now, after we've covered the urgent life-saving skills, I think the biological robots need to learn how to read the gauge clusters. Think about it. Most grown-ups are able to tell if the motor of their vehicle is going to fail if they don't immediately visit the mechanic. But those same people very often are able to ignore a growing lymph node that could indicate an early and still treatable type of cancer. Yes, for some of those life-threatening illnesses, we create awareness programs that, in reality, reach far fewer people than we would wish. But why on earth aren't they in the school curriculum? Why is memorising useless facts more important than knowing what could shorten your lifespan? And while we're on the subject of prevention, why aren't kids taught what consuming enormous quantities of sugar does to your body? What lack of exercise and lack of sleep means in terms of your well-being? The education about all those critically important things that shape our lives is left to chance, while we spend countless hours learning maths that 95% of us would never again see in our lives. So when we talk at least about the near future of medicine, in my opinion we need to start by educating people about their bodies, and also perhaps even more importantly, their minds. Knowing how your brain works can help you understand and cope with a lot of daily tasks, like learning, for example. Why isn't there a subject in school that teaches you how to learn? There are a lot of studies that prove that some methods are a lot more effective than others, yet our kids would probably hear about them long after they've left the schoolyard. These are changes that we can start doing tomorrow. And, in my opinion, these are changes that could save a lot of lives and taxpayers' money. Because, as we know, prevention is way more effective than treatment, at least at this stage. As for the future of medicine long-term, well, if we play our cards right, the long-term future of medicine can look really exciting. One example would be the work of David Sinclair, a Harvard professor who is trying to find a way to stop the ageing process. If the topic of ageing interests you, we have another video in which we discuss it in more detail, so you're welcome to check it out. Thank you for watching, and if you want our message to reach more people, 
Give us a like and perhaps share this video with your friends. Tell us what you think in the comments below and subscribe for more future thoughts. Have a great day and see you in the next video.